Okay, so I wanted to make a normal video or like, you know, my typical video that I usually push out there, but ended up being so busy over the past couple of days that I didn't have enough time to film one. So I figured I would still make a video about this topic and push it out there, except I would do more of a voiceover video as you see here. Now, if you are subscribed to the channel, then chances are that you probably saw my post on the community board, letting you all know that I did in fact receive the newest update for this little guy here, the Samsung Galaxy Tab A7. Now, Samsung has been rolling out the Android 11 update to more devices. And if you remember, the LTE version of this same tablet had been getting it in parts of Europe. Meaning if you live in Europe and you own an LTE version of this tablet, you probably got Android 11 way before the Wi-Fi version did. Many of you wanted me to go ahead and share in a video once this update hits my tablet and evidently it did in fact do so two days ago, which is when I actually posted on the community board. And as an FYI here, my tablet here is the Wi-Fi ver version. So what I have here is the Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Wi-Fi only, meaning that people who live in the US should be receiving or should have received this update already. So make sure to check or navigate to the software update part of your settings and check to make sure that, you know, it's there for you to go ahead and update because you should normally have received a notification but again if you didn't receive a notification you could just manually check that in your settings to see if you are eligible to update your tablet and as i said in previous videos your tablet with this update will go ahead and skip one ui 3.0 and directly gain access to one ui 3.1 core and it will land you the april security patch now keep in mind that although this is still samsung one ui it is a slightly different version of one ui and let's call it more of a light version of one ui still a very nice update to have on your tablet though to answer the samsung dex question that's going to be a no right unfortunately your tab a7 will not support samsung dex even with this update but you shouldn't be too surprised because i did say that in previous videos and i know the question has come over and over whether it will support samsung dex so obviously the answer is no and you can remember that this was kind of a flagship exclusive feature anyways at least until recently when samsung started adding this to mid-range devices like the tab s6 Lite and also the tab s7 fe that is coming out you will however not be able to enjoy kind of a fresh ui not kind of you actually will be enjoying a fresh ui that will come with quite a few other new features in terms of performance and security also it is improved now i personally haven't been able to notice a major difference in terms of performance specifically but i think i need to actually do more testing simply because full disclosure since i updated it a couple days ago i haven't done like a thorough testing of this i really just wanted to get this information out there for you to know that you are eligible to go ahead and update your tablet if you live in the us either way you will take good advantage of one ui 3.1 features including like a more dynamic lock screen like i mentioned last time and even more improved and optimized samsung internet app quicker access to you know the smart home controls and much more lastly and more importantly one ui 3.1 here will enable your tablet to play even better within that Samsung ecosystem. And I'm talking the way it communicates with other Samsung devices. So that's always a big plus. And that is really all I have for you today. I really tried to make the video short simply because it's something that you can kind of go ahead and do on your tablet right away. So I didn't want to hold too long. Give it a try and see how you like it. As I mentioned, this will be the One UI Core version, which is the lighter version, but it is nevertheless a major upgrade for your tablet. Someone actually asked, and I don't remember which video it was, whether the update to Android 11 would fix the micro SD card issue or the micro SD card lock that Samsung had put on the Tab A7 where you can't move your apps to your micro SD card. Now that has not changed. I tested it just once just to see and it didn't move so I just moved on. I'm assuming that it has not changed anything. See if it's different, if it acts differently with your tablet but as far as mine, I, maybe I give it another try but I tried just once knowing that they wouldn't fix it. 
So anyways, this was meant to be a very short video and it may be getting longer than I anticipated. So let me know down in the comment section if you are able to upgrade your tablet to an Android 11. Let me know if you're encountering any types of issues. Maybe, you know, other people encounter the same issues and you'll be able to kind of get that back and forth going in the comment section and kind of help each other out. I hope you found this informative. Please don't forget, of course, to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the notification bell for more videos like this one and, you know, the typical one that I make. I appreciate you watching this up until now. I'm going to catch you in the comment section and I'm also going to catch you in the next video. And up until then, stay safe out there.